Welcome to Fuller Lives. I'm delighted to talk to a person. His name is Anil Shetty. He has a very rich experience of working in corporates. He is a chartered accountant. And the cherry on the cake is that he is a life coach. So let us have a detailed insight with, with Anil. So Anil, welcome to Fuller Lives. Pleasure Hi. having you. Thank you so much. Uh, could you tell us about your academic qualifications, CAs, whatever you did and all? Uh, it will be helpful to audience. All right. But first of all, uh, thank you so much for having me here. I'm really honored to be here. And uh, as you rightly said, my name is Anil Shetty and I'm a CA by qualification. Um, almost um, 20 plus years into the corporate world, okay. worked with uh, investment banking firms, the technology firms worldwide, and finally took a break uh, in 2015, four years ago, and started my own venture in the name of Transference, which stands for Clarity. So Transference is all about um, life coachings, the, the corporate training workshops on life skills management, etc., etc., and uh, that's the first line of business. Secondly, we are into corporate funding where we do project funding, the construction funding, resource finance for our clients from various institutions, big banks, NBFCs, and uh, you know private funding. And third, we are into wellness solutions um, in, in in the form of nutrients or uh, you know the water, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's uh, pretty much about me. But but key key here is I'm very passionate about life coaching. Life. And thank you so much for inviting me here for so, this. Yeah. So, that's, that's. Uh, the essential message that I would like to give my audience through Anil is that Anil is a life coach. And life is always complicated for so many people. Life is not that easy as many of you ha have witnessed and, and you are witnessing about it. Anil, could you just tell us the life lessons that you cover in your workshop through your firm, Transparence? All right. Uh, so, um, thanks to all my masters. And especially Swami Sukhubodananda is, is, is my guru and is the one because of whom I am, what I am today, because of his teachings. Yeah, fundamentally, we, we talk about mind, mindfulness. Then uh, we talk about how to free ourselves from uh, negative emotions like fear, anger, etc., etc. Um, number three is a gift of now. Now, most of us are today are either living in the past or in the future, but nobody is here on the now. So, how we can really be more mindful or be aware of, of you know, to be to be here in the now rather than in the past or the, or the future. So yeah. So uh, so long story short, it's be alert and be aware. That's 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 the whole workshop um, we we are into, and we're catering mostly corporate employees because I'm coming from corporate background. So I know what's happening on the other side. So that's how we we have started these workshops for okay. corporate employees. Yeah, uh, Anil was a, a senior vice president in a very reputed organization, Namura, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, senior associate vice president. Senior yeah. associate vice president, and and Anil has done a lot of workshops at corporate level. But Anil, as you interestingly said that. Uh, mindfulness is the art of being stationed in the present yeah but it's very difficult to practice considering all the pull and pushes that you have in life yes so yes. could you just essentially tell our viewers that how and this art can be practiced and you live in the moment yeah so i was as i was talking to sir you know a, a while ago um it's it's this 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 art um can't be taught it can only be caught so, but still, uh, having said that, what I can uh, add here is, it's bringing more awareness of uh, what's happening to you uh, now, because that awareness itself will will give you a pause, and then from that state, you can really uh, be more creative, more innovative. So, to keep it very simple, uh, having the awareness that whether I am doing whatever I am doing mechanically, or with more awareness, so I, we call it as mechanical center. Or magnetic center. magnetic center, like you know, today uh, our good morning or good evening is all went to GM, GN, and LOL, etc., etc. So we 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 are doing it, but um, we are more busy in touch, but nobody's in touch. Okay. <laughs> so uh, it's not that there's nothing wrong with uh, with that, but thing is today um, we are not using technology. The mm -hmm. technology is using me, and exactly, that's where. Exactly. We are busy in touch, 
but we are not in touch. So, so I repeatedly telling that we bring into more awareness and more alertness in whatever we are doing that will definitely help us to take it to the next level. Because today we are running, there is no pause. Now let me, can I give an example here? Sure, sure. So uh, I'm sure you drive a car and uh, in the car there are six gears. First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth, fifth, and there is a reverse gear, sixth one. So, if I have to go from first to second, what do I need to do? I need to bring that first to neutral, and then go to second. If I go to, we have to go to to third from second. So, what I have to do again? I have to come to neutral, neutral, and then go to third. Then come neutral again, fourth. Then neutral, then fifth. Right. So, what this car is teaching us is that. If you want to go move forward, you have to take a pause. You exactly. have to come to that neutral state. So when you come to that neutral state, it's not that you are stopping yourself from growing. That is the essential part for you to grow. So taking a pause means what? Like, you know, we are talking this. Mm-hmm. Now these teachings are going to people. Basically, when they are listening, it's actually they are taking a pause. Uh, these meditation, the yoga, the kriya, these are all pauses we are taking. Not that we are quitting our stuff, but we are t- coming to neutral so that we can move <laughs> You know, forward. Next level, next level. Now the question is how to take this pause. I think we can talk that in, in length, in hours and hours. But yeah, uh, just to make it simple, uh, even sitting for a while with yourself, it, it will create a huge amount of power mm-hmm. in your mind and you can be so creative and innovative. Mm-hmm. But we think that taking a pause is a waste of time. You know, it's a waste of time. You know, who will do meditation? It's more time waste. But actually, it's not... That way, you're just coming to neutral so that you can move, you know, forward. So, um, so, so just to quest- answer your question, I'm going round and round and round. But yeah, let's take a pause and uh, and move forward. Yeah, so that's the message. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Anil, uh, these days like depression, uh, suicide disorders mental illness is on rise among youth and even we are not untouched from it even we get depressed we get bogged down by daily the pulls and pushes of the life and you become a victim of the situation yeah unknowingly unconsciously yes unaware as you rightly said that uh, awareness is is essentially the art of mindfulness so could you just tell us that what our youth what our students should do so that they are stationed in the present and depression, disorders, they don't trouble them. All right. Yes. So, we, we can do a couple of exercises here? Or, yeah, we, um, can, we can surely do it. Okay. So, for our youth, not only for our youth, anybody, even a, when a person who has such 60 and 70, still they don't know how to use the mind. They are still bogged down with uh, whatever their stories are. So, one quick technique I can, I can share here through Fuller Lives is, is uh, you know just close your eyes. You now we can do that with you, sir. You I, know. I'll just uh, yeah. practice so, what know, Anil is saying. Yeah, so I can close my eyes. Okay. <laughs> so you know we just cl- you close your eyes and uh, just wait for your next thought to come in. You know, ab apna aankh band kijiye and then then wait ki abki jo next vichar aane wala hai, wo kya vichar aane wala? You just have to wait and watch. Don't don't attract anything. Don't think anything. Just wait for your next thought to come in. Let's take a pause and wait for our next thought to come in. We'll do it for five seconds. Can I open my eyes? Yes, please. So. Okay. so, did you get any thought? No, I didn't get any thought. You yet. didn't get any. Wow, great. Can we give a big hand here? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, what happened? So, when you, when you were more aware and waiting for thought to come in, that thought didn't come in because you, you got frightened that somebody is watching me. Because we are not body, we are not mind. You know, so there is something else. So there's that awareness, the consciousness. I'm using this word again and again because that's the key. So when you took a pause and was waiting for the next thought to come in, it didn't come. And when the thought is not going to come here, so where is the question of repression here? You are absolutely empty. So this is a very simple activity we can do here. And believe me, if you could practice, you know, we did it for five seconds. Can you do it for six seconds tomorrow? Can you do it for 10 seconds day after tomorrow? A day will come. So a day will come where nothing will bother you. Because you've learned to come to neutral to move forward. So this is one simple technique. And we have loads of techniques like this. We can we can talk about this to to all uh, Fuller Lives viewers. 
there and uh, you know um we can we can move forward anil you were just mentioning about the shunya theory yeah. zero theory where uh, anil just shared with me before this recording anil shared that uh, many of us think that we are at the center of the cosmos <laughs> so center yeah. unfortunately it is not could you throw some light on on it <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, you might have heard from many many life coaches that this whole solar system is like um, kind of as a minuscule it's like a speck of speck of a dust actually the exactly. whole solar system in that whole solar system there is this little earth which is again little less than a dust mm-hmm. and that in that earth there's india a little, little lesser and there is this mumbai little less and then there is ghatkopar or uh, kolhapur or it's even lesser and then there is we are he's sitting here in in your college it is even lesser So if you see, you know, it's speck of a dust, you know, smaller, 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 and we're here, and here this Anil Shetty is sitting, who think, like, you know, I'm a center of the cosmos. So where am I in this in this entire solar system? You know, actually, I'm nothing. But w- when I when I come to know that I'm nothing, when I operate from that state, there's no question of being feeling uh, arrogant, being feeling, you know, superior. because the moment you realize that you are in speck for dust here you know uh, when you operate from that mm-hmm. that um, state you will be so compassionate with people as uh, as my guru always said i can i can use bhagavad gita uh, shloka you know there is there is this um, text where lord krishna says that vidya vinaya sampanne vidya vinaya sampanne. sampanne there is nothing to do with hindu muslim christian here anything this is this is really life teachings from lord krishna yeah that vidya vinaya sampanne what do i mean by this what 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 is the meaning of this that no matter whoever you are whatever you are being a ca engineer or entrepreneur whatever be humble so vidya vinaya sampanne vinamrata so that's what we say so when you realize that you're nothing there is not you don't you, you don't have anything to feel superior about you Uh, is it really easy it's easier said than done or oh, of course not it's it's abhyasam you need a lot of practice to come to this close otherwise a ca when he when when he's going to talk to bcom then are ye to bcom hai matlab ca that arrogance will come and that will kill you actually because you are operating mechanically and not through magnetic uh, center now what is magnetic mechanical oh, we can elaborate more in our upcoming sessions through full alive probably yes, <laughs> and like uh, uh, i have heard in one of the discourses that uh, you have uh, you allow your mind to operate at two levels either you react or you respond yeah in fact when you are mentioning about swami sukhobodananda in one of his session he did mention that either you have a reactive mind or a, a responding mind so could you just tell us that how to convert a reactive mind into a responding mind <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a big one <laughs> and that we we were to talk about in this 5 10 minutes uh, thing uh, of course it's going to be difficult okay. but uh, first of all we need to understand what is uh, reaction and what is response now uh, there is a meaning of responsibility now what is responsibility and ability to respond is the responsibility now reaction means your mind is using you response means you are using your mind so let me give an example the question is folks are you using whatsapp today or whatsapp is using you it's other way around whatsapp, <laughs> WhatsApp is consuming most of us <laughs> so when whatsapp is is going to use you that means you're going to be so mechanical like you know even one notification come boom you you have to watch that notification mm. you know no matter whatever the cling you're going to you know watch mm. it because mm. literally you know whatsapp is using you you know so when you're going to be using what's you'll be more mindful of what you're doing you'll be consciously using the technology so when you do whatever consciously or with more awareness um, you know you will always respond and if it's other way around you always be reactive now uh, now is there any problem with that reaction and respond yes the reaction means you're more controlled by external factors <laughs> i call it as paristhiti versus manusthiti manusthiti <laughs> you know the paristhiti is okay conducive your manusthiti is okay your paristhiti is pratikul not conducive 
you're not okay. That means the remote control is with Paristhiti. So whenever that is going to happen, you'll be reactive. And if it's other way around, you'll be responsive. Now, how to uh, move from uh, reaction to respond? Yes, there are a lot of um, techniques which, which we present in our workshops. Mm -hmm. And we do a lot of activities as well there. So that will definitely help. But for the time being, if you are in control of the situation, you'll be responsive. If the situation is control of you, you'll be reactive. So, okay. so can we bring more alertness mm -hmm. about this fact? Or if you want to know more, there is okay. there's this video called Parisiti versus Manusiti in, in my channel where I've <laughs> detailed. Anil has, her, has his own channel process. in the name of Anil Shetty. Just do watch. He has a couple of videos there. You can We will definitely, below the description, we'll provide you the link. And Anil is a very busy person. But Anil, I want you to help my all my viewers who are watching Fuller Lives. They are in this college, beyond college, people who know me, people who know you. Uh, Anil, with your permission, I would like to add your Instagram ID below this <laughs> video so that my students can go there. If they have any query, they can post you and, and they can get a lot of advice or consultancy from you. <laughs> so if you permit, I will add it. <laughs> so, uh, sure. So, you know, we, we can we can do that as well or you can share my uh, link as well. But I'm, I'm really um, honored and grateful that Fuller Lives is giving me this opportunity to talk to their viewers. Uh, for the benefit of Fuller Lives, for the benefit of Fuller Lives, um, I want to do one more activity where, which will help the youth, whoever are going through a little uh, negative emotions. Low face. Yeah. So we can do a quick one, quick exercise where the way we did that, you're waiting for next thought to come in. That's the first one, which which you can do it for one second, two second. Now there's this another activity which I want to share for Fuller Lives viewers here. Which will, I'll, I guarantee you, if you do practice this for about next a week or so, you know, you'll be grateful to Fuller Life Channel for giving this amazing <laughs> technique for all of you. So, can we do that, sir? Sure, sure, sure. Like okay, so what we have to do first is just relax, close your eyes, and take a deep breath, and, uh, you know, just relax. And close your eyes, and just check, you know, whatever thoughts are coming, just check, where is this? thought where are these thoughts coming from ye jo vichar hai ye vichar kahan se aa rahe the thoughts are emerging from me obviously ye sare vichar jo hai wo mujhse aa rahe which means the thoughts are emerging from me now just check where is this me emerging from let's close your eyes and just check where is this me emerging from and let's do this for about 5 seconds All right, please open your eyes. Sir, so where is this me emerging from? Did you find anything? No, I can't look at that me in me. Absolutely. That is complete emptiness. That is chitta. That complete, you know, zero. Nothingness. Stillness. You'll find the stillness. Now, you did this for about five seconds. So, can we do it for six seconds tomorrow? Can we do it for yeah, seven sure, seconds sure. the day after tomorrow? You can do it while you're traveling, whether you're on the bus, train, car, car, wherever you are. You know, obviously, when you it's not while you're driving, there's <laughs> an accident there. So if you have, if you have a driver, you know, sit relax and do this. I guarantee you, if you do this, you know, no big task. Just thoughts are emerging from me. Where is this me emerging from? Do this activity for about six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, ten seconds. No meditation, no mudra, no yoga, no exercises. Take it from me, believe me, trust me, you will find an amazing thing happening to you in, in less than a week's time. Great, great. So, <laughs> so guys, it was really a pleasure talking to Anil. Anil has shared a lot of tips with you and I request you to follow all the steps so that you truly live a full life. That is essentially the purpose of this channel. So Anil, thank you so much. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for sharing wonderful insights for my students and I am sure all those people who are watching you, they will surely benefit it. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Sir.